Hello, COB family. I'm Brother Enchit. Welcome to another episode of Fit for Service. This program is designed to help you stay in shape and to teach you how to worship the Lord through dance. Jeremiah 31.13 says, The young women will dance for joy, and the men, old and young, will join in the celebration. Yesterday, we said that dance is all-inclusive. We all celebrate what God has done for us, and we all celebrate what He still does today. We don't appoint someone else to do the rejoicing on our behalf. We get in there and rejoice. Time for rejoicing! Fit for service.
Timothy 4 verse 8 and the NLT says, Physical training is good, but training for godliness is much better, promising benefits in this life and in the life to come. There is some value to physical training. We often pray for strength. That's great. But we need to add works to our faith. And that is exactly what you are doing by joining this program. Good job! Time to drink water? You're all set, COP. I am Sister Mikey. God bless! Fit for service. Hello, COP. I am Brother Josh. Welcome to Square One, the segment where we learn each day a little about the basics of dance. Yesterday, we learned about choreography, the name both for the process and the result of creating a dance. Choreography comes from the word Korea, which in ancient Greece was a circle dance accompanied with singing. That tells us that choreography involves music and movement. People of old had always danced with purpose. For example, to celebrate harvest, all three components of dance are present in choreography. Message, music, and movement. More of Skoron in the next episode. God bless! Fit for service. Hello again, COP. Welcome to If You Can Walk, You Can Dance. In this segment, we'll learn that worship is participative. Now, we are going to be asking the dancers to help us with the dance to learn for today. Dancers? Thank you, dancers. Now let's get right to our first movement sequence. So we point to Jesus, we go five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. And then we bring our right arm from behind. So we go five, six, seven, eight. So right arm first and then the left arm. So from behind to the front, but it stays up here. Okay, so same with the left arm. So we go five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Good, let's try that faster. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see it. The second movement sequence starts with a never move. <laughs> so a never movement. So you go five, six, seven, and never be ashamed of, and then you go left right left right so five six seven and never be ashamed of left right left right so we're not ashamed of jesus so we do that with conviction okay so five six seven and one two three four five six seven eight let's connect the first two movement sequences we go five six seven and one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight your turn so this is where we ended from the second movement sequence going to the third so this is eight so five six seven eight so we open here we open our arms so right goes Downward, this goes upward. So you go five, six, seven, and one, and then we clap. And then other side, and then we clap. Okay, so five, six, seven, and our praise. All right, so five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. Then we go five, six, 
and then we point like we, we're gesturing today. So five, six, then seven, eight. Okay? So five, six, seven, and boom. Our phrase, all we are today. Okay? That's good. Let's try that faster. So we go five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Connecting all of those three movement sequences together, we come up with five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Never be ashamed of left, six, seven, and boom. Our bricks, all we are today. Good? The easiest one and the most fun, I guess, is the last movement sequence we just do eight times, okay? Eight times of this. So we go, take, take, take it all. And then it repeats, take, take, take it all. Okay, so eight counts, all eight counts with the same uh, movement. So we go five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's connect all of the movement sequences we have for the chorus. So we go five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and take, take, take it all. Take, take, take it all. All right, let's try it with music. Take, take, take it all. Jesus, Psalm 149 verse 3 says, Praise His name with dancing, accompanied by tambourine and harp. Don't leave the rejoicing to other people. If you can walk, you can dance. Now come and dance along. I'm Brother Nico. Acts 17 verse 28 says, For in Him we live and move and have our being. You've just finished learning a new dance. Now it's time to take your coordination to a different level as you follow along doing some praise moves. In Him we live, in Him we move. Let's go!
helps your muscles relax. A little stretching before bedtime even helps with better sleep. That's why you cannot stiffen the muscles as you do the exercises. Instead, breathe through the exercises. And as always, remember to drink water after any workout. Awesome! Stay in shape, COP. God bless. Fit for service. Thank you once again for joining us. Stay fit for service by God's grace. I'm Brother Enchit, and I'll see you next time. God bless.